Why? Because I can. Yeah. Why? Because I can. Whoop. Why? Because I can. Yeah. Why? Because I can. Whoop. Why? Because I can. Ha. Why? Because I can. Yeah. Why? Because I can. Ha. Why? Because I can. Why? Because I can. Skip goes hard. Yes, I am the man. Don't have no time for no hoes. Rather have a room full of retro. What's up, people? Skip goes hard here. Y'all know what it is. Still the most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the game. Facts. Today's date is, I don't know what the hell that was. Today's date is May 2nd, 2019, man. Y'all ready? Whole ass time. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all see the thumbnail, man. I'm on the road. On the road again. Looking ass, man. Uh doing what I do, going where I'm gonna go, being where I'm gonna go be, <laughs> looking ass, uh, man, I want, you know, like, and I say this a lot, man, when you're on the road, you get a, you, when you're on the road driving for a long distance, you get a chance to sit back and you think about a lot of stuff, man, stuff that's going on in your life, you talk to yourself, I know I talk to myself, uh, long as I, yeah, you, there's nothing wrong talking to yourself, just don't answer. You know what I mean? I don't even talk to you, like, yeah, man, I'm gonna do, do this and that. And be like, yes, I'm gonna do that too. Then, then that's that's when the weird shit starts kicking off. Don't you can talk to yourself, don't answer yourself, but yeah, uh, I know my gloves are nappy. These gloves need a cut, man. I need to throw a damn a Duke kit on my gloves. I gotta lay it down like a Duke. I remember Ultra Star nappy ass gloves. But I need like the red box, not the blue box. Like y'all remember, like if you throw a kit in your hair, you got the red box, you got the blue box. My, I always had to use the red box, and my hair was always coarse. You got fine, medium, and coarse. My shit was coarse. But anyway, man, enough of that. <laughs> man, let's talk about these. Uh... Man, let's talk about the Travis Scott ones and these bread fours, black cement fours, or how, how however you want to call these these fours, bread fours. Damn it. Now. It trips me out when people say stuff, and you can tell people who know sneakers and 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 know all the bull crap that comes with shoes. Cause people people who don't really know sneakers say shit like this. Yeah, I mean, no Travis Scott ones. Yeah, I think I'm I think I'm, I'm gonna pick me up a pair or two. You gonna pick you up a pair or two? Nigga, these are, these are <laughs> this is not a Nestle Crunch bar. You're not gonna just gonna pick up a pair of Travis Scott ones and be on your way. No, you're not. Unless you got a bot or you got some high high. Uh, uh, connections out there in the world. You're not, gonna, you're not just going to roll up and pick up some Travis Scott ones. No, you're not. So what you're going to do is you're going to need, you need to uh, camp your ass out for a couple days. Might need to do that, especially like if they're going to come up on little pop-up shops or going to be in store. They might have raffles and stuff like that. But your best bet, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to camp because Every, I'm gonna try to get them online, and you already know if I get those Travis Scotts, you already know what I'm gonna do. You already know I'm gonna pimp views, and they're going to the chop shop. Uh, and shout out to my homie Dre Day Kicks. He said that he really likes his. Uh, and I say his. He ain't got the bitches yet. He really likes the Travis Scott ones, man. I can respect that. There are some people who really like them, but to me, they look like deflated footballs. Wilson looking at. They look like deflated footballs. They don't look. The Travis Scott one does not look good to me, but I bet the premium materials that they're going to use on that shoe is worth the 175 because they're going to be 175 like all-star one uh uh prices you know what i mean and you think about it man a hyped up shoe like a travis scott one retailing for 175 and you know you can flip them hoes and end it off paying off a, a, a damn credit card or whatever or stuff like that hey man Hey, I'm all for it. I'm for the flip. I'm for the flip. Like the homie Ron reviews him. Flip. 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 Look at this. Game over. Look at this. Uh man, I don't know, man. Travis Scott ones, bro. I just they don't look good to me. They they really do look like deflated ass footballs. Tom Brady ass footballs. They really do. But man, hey, hey, if it's worth me getting them and doing video and taking them to the chop shop, shit, they, they going to the chop shop. Look at this, man. Uh, and bread fours, man. Uh, how many pairs are y'all picking up? I say that because the bread fours are going to be easier than the Travis Scott ones. Facts. Facts. Thank you, Kincaid. Kincaid, say it again. Facts. Thank you. Bread fours are going to be easier than the Travis Scott ones. They're going to be easier to get than the Travis Scott ones. That's facts. 
uh, everybody, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people got their reservation apps, you know, Foot Action, Champs, Foot Locker, in order to try, hope you can get your, uh, your bread for. I know I got my reservation apps, uh, like I said, Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, stuff like that, so I hope I can, I hope I can land a pair. <laughs> I know some of y'all who know me or watch this be like, Skip, you know, you know you got a pair a lot with your black ass. Hey. Uh, so I hope I can land a pair of bread fours. Um man, my I asked was like how many pairs how many pairs are y'all trying to get? Because man, I mean if you think about it, people who have big ass collections can eat they can they can wear one shoe and not even they can wear they can wear one shoe that day and not even touch that shoe for like the next like four or five months. There are people with collections like that. There are some people who don't want to really beat up their shoes. You know what I mean? So if you think about it, if you're gonna double up or triple up or quadruple up on on uh, on on the bread fours, and I was watching uh, uh, Ron reviews through my eyes. I was watching this live last night. Um, I was watching it again because I'm on the road. I like to laugh. <laughs> you get it? I like to laugh. That's why I watch Ron Reviews. I like to laugh. Uh, we were talking about... Um, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's cute. There's a little there's a little convoy of Miatas uh, going that way. That shit was cute. Little small-ass, little Hot Wheel matchbox-ass cars going that way. Anyway, I know I'm all over the place. Uh, if you think about it, man, is it worth like doubling up, tripling up on these shoes, getting three, four pairs and stuff like that? I told myself, I was like, man, I'm trying to get all the pairs I can get. You know what I mean? But you think about it, man. Like, 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 uh, like Ron said on the live, a shoe like that, sometimes you may have to wait a year or two years for the flip to be profitable. You know what I mean? Because I have shoes in my collection. I check out on StockX and I'd be like, damn, I should have bought a damn size of nine, size nine instead of a stupid ass size 11. That size nine going for like 350. And my size 11 going for goddamn 140. Ain't that a blip? You know what I mean? I'm like, man, like I always do that. I look at shoes in my collection, then I look on StockX because I was like, man, I got too many shoes. I need to get rid of them. You know, you go on StockX to kind of judge and see what you want or what you're going to try to get when you sell your pair. That's what I do. And, um, uh, Man, like I said, man, I had shoes up like, damn, man, I wish I would have took the L on that size 11 and ended up getting whatever they had left because there's some, like, size 11, that's my size. And sometimes, depending on the shoe, you either get a good flip off of it, you're going to take them to the chop shop and get a good flip, or you are, they're going to give you under for what you paid. Then you're stuck with a shoe. You're like, damn, man, why I buy this shoe? <sighs> you know what I mean? But, man, for the bread forest, man, how many pairs are y'all going to try to get? try to get because i believe uh friday what's today today's thursday yeah thursday is pretty much i mean it you can't thursday the the deadline is gonna be well you need to go ahead and pick whatever store you're gonna try to get your shoes change the sizes or whatever because today's the deadline and i believe tomorrow will be where we're gonna find out if we hit on the uh damn let me slow down man i'm not trying to get stopped look at this uh, but yeah, man, tomorrow we'll find out what, if they're on the reservation app, see if we're going to, uh, get our pairs or not, man. Man, I just want, man, I just want like two pairs, man. But I don't know. We will see. We will see what's going on with these shoes, man. Travis Scott one is going to come out. Date got pushed back to May 11th. So that gives a lot, that gives people a lot of times to prep. You know what I mean? Get themselves ready for the camp out. Just in case, just in case you got that, leave me alone on your hip. You may need that depending if you're in a, uh, 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 <laughs> wild ass areas. You know what I mean? Some places you may gotta put a little chair out, get you a jacket, read a book. You know what I mean? Or be on your phone, get your laptop, and camp. The May 11 is when the Travis Scott ones has its official drop, and they already popped up on the Nike sneakers app. So you already know how that's gonna be. Y'all know how that's gonna be. So I already know I'm gonna take an L. Uh, man, I don't know, man. It is what it is, y'all. Man, these shoes, man. There's a lot of shoes coming out in May. You got the women's uh, panda, whatever kind of like Air Jordan ones. Yeah, man. You got the uh, watermelon stay skin 11 lows. You got the bone lows. Red Forest, Travis Scott ones, 
it is, it, I'm talking about like it's really going down with these shoes, man. There's a lot of stuff going on, man. May, hey, May. But what do y'all think? I was, I was at work and I was talking to the homies and I was like, I wonder what is going to be the shoe of the year. And I think we all came, uh, I had a burp. We all came to the conclusion that the Brent 4 is probably going to be the, sh the, the Jordan. I say I like to say shoe and then Jordan of the year because 2018 to me my opinion factual opinion the shoe of 2018 was a Sean Witherspoon's the Jordan of 2018 was a Travis Scott Force facts I said it facts I'm always right let me alone so what the hell was that so uh what's gonna be the sneaker and what's gonna be the Jordan of 2019. I think the Jordan may be the bread for, but like I said, man, we're still early into 2019. We don't know what's going on, what's going to happen later on this year. Hey, we might get a surprise. Hey, man, playoff 13s, Flint thir Flint 14, playoff 12s, Flint 13s. You know what I mean? That's a little stuff like that. But it ain't gonna be no long ass video, man. I just want to chop it up with y'all, man. I'm on the road looking ass, man. Uh, I'll be back. I might go live a little later on. Uh, when I get to my destination, man, y'all take care, man. Look, I'm skipping ghost hard. This is the first time you're watching me. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Tickling, ding that bell. So every time I drop a video, you see me black ass me with red gloves. Look at that. Peace, your pussy.